Common carp are one of the world's most widely introduced and invasive species of fish. Here in Minnesota, they dominate the biomass of many shallow lakes and rivers. They cause problems by making lakes more muddy, destroying waterfowl habitat, and releasing nutrients that cause algae blooms while searching for food in the lake bottom. They reproduce quickly and can become super abundant. It is estimated that over half of the lakes in southern Minnesota have lost their plant cover and suffer from excessive algae blooms, in large part due to excessive carp populations. Researchers at the Minnesota Aquatic Invasive Species Research Center at the University of Minnesota have spent years researching common carp in order to control them and have found many successful tactics, including seining in the winter, using bluegill sunfish to consume carp eggs and larvae, and using bait to train carp to form large feeding aggregations, which are removed with special nets. One especially promising technique is to take advantage of how common carp move upstream to spawn. In the spring, common carp are extremely motivated to return to marshes where they were born. This is similar to a homing behavior in salmon. Often, thousands of adult carp migrate all at the same time through relatively small creeks like we see here in Rice Creek in New Brighton. We use tiny electronic tags and electronic antennas to monitor these migrations. In partnership with the Rice Creek Watershed District, we set up an electric guidance system to funnel the migrating carp into a large fenced holding area. The system produces only a mild electric field, which guides the fish rather than stuns them. Once the carp enter the holding area, they are netted and removed in this case, into a boat. The wood system, in this case placed on a boat, allows for large numbers of carp to be transported quickly and efficiently through a pneumatic tube. There are approximately 20,000 common carp migrating through this watershed, and in the spring of 2019, we were able to remove over 4,000 of them to prove this concept. This is the first time the wood system has been used for invasive fish control, and the results are very encouraging. A more autonomous system that might be able to remove even more carp with minimal human assistance is currently in development. Once fully developed, this new approach will be part of a broader strategy to control common carp and restore Minnesota lakes.